Talk about this IPO, um, what it means and why now. What do you think so far? Well, look, you know, people love the story. They, they love the company. And we're better positioned than most companies as the, the leisure recovery comes back. And uh, the time is now because America's reopening. And we're best positioned to exploit all that demand that's been up. You are seeing um, a return. We've heard that prices are going to be going up, that uh, more people are flying, and that uh, people are starting to feel better, especially as uh, the vaccines really roll out across the country. What have you seen most recently, just in terms of, of passenger bookings um, and, 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 and the travel that's going through on Frontier? Well, look, we're seeing the vaccine unlock that demand as everyone has expected. And when we look at the month of March, we went uh, cash flow positive. And so that's just a reflection of the demand picture. But it's just getting going. I mean, you know, here we are in New York today. The quarantine uh, restriction is gone. And by Memorial Day, it's going to be big. What, what can you tell me in terms of the bookings that you're seeing? What is it now versus a month ago? Oh, it's, it's uh, well, a month ago, we, we, we turned, at the beginning of March, we turned cash positive, uh, but it's up considerably uh, versus a few months ago. You know, January, February was very low, uh, kind of at the height of the, of the pandemic, but we've just seen that vaccine chip away uh, at, the, uh, at the fear of flying, if you will, and the fear of travel, and people are getting back out. And so, so the demand is, is what's driving us to be cash flow positive now. Barry, uh, the, the IPO priced at the low end of the expected range at $19. Why, why do you think that is? Well, look, I mean, I'm, I'm not a, an expert on this, but uh, look, there's been an, a lot of things going on in the market lately, but I can just tell you that people are excited about the story and excited about the company and our prospects. And, you know, we're America's greenest airline and we're positioned a lot differently than in a lot of other, other companies. I mean, when you look at the premier green brands like Tesla, Patagonia and Frontier, what really differentiates us and makes us kind of a better play is that we're the lowest cost for the consumer and the best for your wallet. So people are just really excited about the story. What do you mean you're the greenest? We're the greenest. Based we on get what nine, metrics? Uh, based on CO2, but principally 97 miles per gallon per passenger or per seat. And that compares to the industry that's in the 60s. So it's considerably much more efficient. What do you guys do differently? Uh, all types of things. We, we use uh, the latest technology, modern aircraft. Uh, the Airbus Neo is over half of our fleet, uh, but we fly it more, more efficiently. And just every way that we operate the airline, uh, we, we are very conscious about how, how little fuel we're, we can get away with. That, that's a pretty big differential, uh, that your average versus the, the rest of, uh, of, of other carriers' averages. What do you do to operate more efficiently? I, I understand you might be flying a, a larger fleet using these newer jets, but how do you fly them more efficiently than other people do? Well, everything from avoiding congested times, congested airports. Um, we, for example, we don't have as much food and beverage on board uh, as you might normally expect. We have half the galley carts. And even last week, we just introduced new Recaro seats that are 1,000 pounds less per aircraft. And just that alone hmm. saves us $30,000 uh, in fuel each year per airplane. So we're just always looking for ways to make the aircraft lighter and then how we actually operate it uh, to burn less fuel because there's many ways to get you from A to B, but uh, how, how much fuel you burn is what differentiates us. And it's, I think it really drives home all of the things that we do from an efficiency perspective that not only makes us lowest X fuel cost in 2019, but also the lowest from a fuel cost as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.